Hi everyone, I have a question for you. Let's say you have a pocket watch with a chain attached to it and you put the pocket watch in the middle of a table and then you pull the end of the chain that's attached to it along the edge of the table in a straight line. The question is, what path does the watch follow across the table? That brings us to the subject of today's video. So, let's discover the maths. Claude Perrault was a Frenchman who trained as a doctor and gained a minor reputation as an architect and an anatomist before dying in an unusual way as a result of an infection he caught while dissecting a camel. One of his claims to fame was that he was the brother of the author of Cinderella and Puss in Boots. In 1676, at about the time the German mathematician and polymath Gottfried Leibniz was doing groundbreaking work on the calculus, Perrault asked the question that I just did in the introduction. What's the path that a pocket watch will follow if its chain is pulled along the straight line? The answer turns out to be a curve called a tractrix. The first known correct answer to Perrault's question came in a letter to a friend in 1693 by the Dutch physicist, astronomer and mathematician Christian Huygens. And it was Huygens who also coined the name tractrix from the Latin tractus for something that is pulled along. The corresponding German name is Hundkurve or Hound Curve, which makes sense if you imagine the path a dog might follow on its leash as its master walks away. Now, in an earlier video, I told you about an interesting surface called Gabriel's Horn, and I said that this was the surface of revolution of part of the curve y equals 1 over x. Well, it turns out that if you rotate the track tricks about the axis, which it approaches more and more closely without ever touching, the surface of revolution that you generate is the pseudosphere. And the pseudosphere was the topic of another video on this channel. The track tricks is closely related to another interesting curve known as the catenary which is the shape taken up by a free hanging chain. In fact, the name comes from the Latin catena for chain. Power cables suspended between pylons also form a catenary, as does the path of a moving charge in a uniform electric field. A tractrix can be drawn starting from a catenary in a very simple way. Imagine you've fixed a piece of string at one end to a point on the catenary. Pull the string out so that it forms a tangent to the curve where it's attached. Then wind up the string, being careful always to keep it taut. The path followed by the end of the string will be a tractrix. If you were to do the same thing starting with a circle, the result would be a type of spiral. Or think of the path that a goat tethered to a post would follow if it walked around and around in the same direction, keeping its tether taut until it wound its way to the center. In both cases, the shape obtained is known as the involute of the original curve. Rotate a catenary about its central axis and another fascinating shape, the catenoid, emerges. First described by the Swiss mathematician Leonard Euler in 1740, it's the oldest known minimal surface, a shape of least area when bounded by a given closed space. It's the only known minimal surface that's also a surface of revolution and is the minimal surface connecting two parallel circles of unequal diameter on the same axis. A way to make one is to dip two circular rings into a soap solution and slowly draw the circles apart. I hope you found this interesting and will check out our other videos on this channel. Leave any comments you have below and I hope to see you again very soon to discover more maths.